Hey y'all, welcome to Craft Abilities. I'm Patrice and Terrell's in the background. What's up? Today we're going to be making this Barbie shirt and we're going to be using HTV Runt Clear HTV for sublimation to get this done because we're going to be pressing this on a white shirt. So are y'all ready for another hack? Let's get a crack. Okay, y'all. So now we're inside of Cricut Design Space and we are ready to upload our image. We purchased this image from Etsy. I will have a link listed below in the description that will link you directly to the image. But when you're uploading your images, make sure that you go to your download folder, especially if it's something that you are downloading from Etsy. As you see, this image is a full color image. So I'm going to select complex. Now that it's, I have it in, it's already a PNG. There is no background, so I didn't need to remove anything. But we are going to make this a print then cut. So I'm selecting print then cut. And now we are going to upload this into our workspace. And once I add this to the canvas, it's going to come in very, very large. So I want to reduce it so that I can see it. And the paper that I have set up now is an eight and a half by 11 for print then cut, but I will need it to be a little bit larger. So we're going to just resize this and then I'm going to see what's the largest amount of space I could print on for the print then cut to work. And so right now I am just stretching it out. I want it to be a little bit over 11 inches. And on the side, I click the warning notification and I'm just now adjusting the paper that we're going to use. We will be using an eight and a half by 11 or eight and a half by 14 inch sheet of paper. And once I have it resized, I went ahead and duplicated the image because I want to create a background for our HTV. And so there I just duplicated and I changed the operation from print then cut to a basic cut. And that would be the exact size of our image. However, I want to create an offset around it. So I went ahead and selected offset. And then I created a slight offset around the image. So that way I could give myself a little bit of grace. And especially with this being clear HTV, I won't have much to worry about. All right. So once you do that, just make sure that you change it to basic cut, because if you're changing it from a print then cut and you're just creating that that layer around it's going to remain a print then cut but we want this to be a basic cut and not a print then cut because we will not be printing anything out but as you all see everything is fitting pretty good i went ahead and changed that to basic cut and this is how we are. so now we're ready to make it and remember this is in two parts so i'm going to click make it and now that we are going to make it we will be changing the mat size to okay well that should be fine our image is 11.5 and higher width so we, we're gonna keep it on a 12 by 24 mat because it is a little larger as you guys can see so the first mat is going to be our print and cut image and we are actually not even going to put this through the printer which you could uh just so that you can make sure that everything lines up correctly but i am probably just going to try to match it up as best as possible so here we have our htv and we want to go ahead and mirror the htv that's going to be our clear vinyl that we will be able to sub on top of all right, so let's go ahead and we are going to click continue. And we're going to click send to printer. And then we are going to change the printer to the Epson EcoTank 4700. I am going to remove the bleed and then we are going to use the system dialog box. Okay, so now we are going to just bring this down and access the system dialog box. Sometimes when you have your screen large, you may not be able to see the dialog box. And we have the printer selected. Next, I'm going to just expand the printer options. We're going to click on print settings. I am going to change the print quality to quality and we are going to mirror the image. Now I am gonna leave the media type as plain paper bright white, but there are some times where I do use premium presentation mats. All right, so we're all good here. Then I am just going to head to color options and we're going to 
click advanced settings and I'm going to change the mode from Epson Vivid to Adobe RGB and we're going to leave it at a 2.2 gamma and I'm going to click OK. So now we are going to click print and our printer will begin printing. Alright guys, so now we're at the printer because we're going to print it out first. And what I'm going to do, because I thought that I had 8.5 by 14 inch paper, but I don't. So I am actually going to have to kind of like make it myself and see if that's going to work out. But we are using sublimation paper. Today we're using a sub sublimation paper to get this done. Now to extend the paper... I am simply just going to get some tape and tape it on the back like this. And I am going to run the tape all the way across so that it does not come apart while we are printing. And I probably could just use some heat tape because once we're done printing, we're going to have to press it. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and use some regular scotch tape. You could also tile it, but if you're not familiar with tiling your prints, like I could print this outside of Cricut, but I just want to keep everything inside of Cricut. So we're going to do it this way. So now we kind of made a longer sheet and we're going to put it in this way so that it can continuously print as it's going. All right, guys, so now I'm placing this in the printer and you want to make sure that the overlapping paper is on top. So that will make it go through a lot easier, but we're just printing it out. Everything looks beautiful. It's going through smoothly. And this print actually took about two minutes, like two and a half minutes to fully print out, but it looks amazing already. All right, y'all, so we're almost there and we are going to be using HTV Rant Sublimation HTV. And I'm showing you three different versions and there is another version out now, but these are the three different versions. Today, we're going to be using the glossy clear sublimation HTV, but they also have it in a matte format. In addition, they have a roll of the sublimation HTV that you can use if you want to cut out longer images. But for today, we are going to be using the glossy and they have detailed instructions, so this should be simple. For our cut, we're going to be using a 12 by 24 inch mat to cut our HTV and make sure that you place this glossy side down. You want to make sure the matte side is what you're cutting on and we are pretty much ready. It's just that simple. Alright guys, so we're ready to load our machine and we will be using the everyday iron-on setting. As you see, today we are using our Cricut Maker, the original Maker. Also, everything cut out beautifully. Make sure to peel the mat away from your HTV. And weeding it was really, really easy. I did not have any issues. Make sure that you weed out all of those inside pieces as well. All right, guys. So before I press this, I'm actually going to cut the registration marks from around here. And I'm also going to cut this area here because that ink will transfer over to the shirt. So I'm just going to cut around the design. All right, guys, so first we're going to put the shirt underneath the press and we're going to pre-press our shirt. And before we pre-press it, I'm going to lint roll the shirt. Today, we will be pressing this at 200 degrees Celsius, which is about 390 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to do the final press with the sublimation image for 45 seconds. But for now, I'm just going to press this for about 10 seconds. All right, so we've pre-pressed it. And now we're going to get ready to apply the clear HTV on top. Today we are using a Gildan 
100% cotton shirt. And so we're going to press this for about 10 seconds. The instructions say that we need to press this for, actually it says 10 to 20 seconds. So we're gonna press it for 10 to 20 seconds. All right, we're done pressing and we're going to let this cool off because it is a cold peel. So I'm just gonna remove it from the heat press and let it cool off before we peel it. In the meantime, I am going to line the bottom of our heat press with some butcher paper because the next step is going to be for us to sub on top. All right, guys, so we're all cool and we're just going to peel the backing off and it is nice and tight onto here. I'm just holding the shirt down because it is nice and stuck. All right. So right now, you guys can see just how clear it is onto the shirt. And also, you can kind of start to see that outline of the actual design. So now we're at the heat press, and now it's time for us to apply our design and we're just keeping it exactly the way it was when we printed it out I didn't remove it at all and also uh oh I might have moved it a little bit but hopefully I didn't also I kind of cut in certain areas to kind of help me with placement because this is clear and so I want to make sure that it's placed correctly so I do know that there is a slight a slight a slight offset and I did that because I wanted to make sure everything fit as it should and right now this is looking it is appearing to be fitting exactly as we want it to All right so that's inside of the offset I'm just gonna bring this down just a tad over here and I could totally see the clear and I don't know if it's because it's shiny if I can see it better because it's shiny but I can totally see see it and it looks to be as I lift it up it looks like it is definitely falling within the offset so now that I have this here I'm just going to go ahead and get some heat tape and we're going to place that onto the design so that we can make sure that it is on there correctly. All right, so that's as much tape as I'm gonna put down on there. And then I am going to, I'm actually going to kind of move this up. I don't want the, the collar to cause any pressure situations and then I'm going to place another piece of butcher paper on top to avoid any ink from going onto my Teflon sheet at the top. All right, so we're all set and we're going to press this for 45 seconds. Now Charles come here talking about am I done pressing the shirt? He has been absolutely no help y'all, none. All right, so it's already done. Let's see. And I'm just going to lift it up lightly because I do want to make sure that it took well. Um, I'm a little bit worried because I can't like manually set the pressure on here. But I think where I had that tape, so y'all don't use. So they say it's heat tape for a reason, right? <laughs> because guess what? That heat tape melted underneath here. You messed it up. But all right so you guys already have like a slight sneak peek of one side okay so let's look at the other side and see how that took and if there is a big noticeable difference and y'all I must say that there is not look at that y'all 
there is not no. a noticeable difference. Do you guys see? Like, you don't even see the break of the paper when I lifted it. Girl. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> but this looks absolutely amazing. I think Your it came. Your camera skills ain't that great. Well, guess what? If I didn't have to have the camera and do the whole project myself when you were supposed to be learning, if Girl. I didn't have to do that, then guess what? Girl. We have no lighting in here, no anything. So you need to go somewhere else. Go back where you were. But look how this came out, y'all. This came out amazing. beautifully. Girl. Oh, finally, you gave me credit. It came out amazing. I know. Yeah. Look at that, y'all. Pretty, pretty perfect. All right, y'all. So we're all done. And how cool was that? We did a few hacks in one video. So we pieced together the paper, printed onto it. And y'all, I love it. So today we chose to use the Glossy HTV. And it absolutely looks fantastic. Girl. It looks all these girls, I can't. <laughs> it looks absolutely fantastic. The colors look vibrant. I am loving it. So if you want any of this clear HTV sublimation paper, I will have it linked below. And this is from HTV Romp, but I will have it linked below. There's several different versions, as y'all see. But y'all, this looks amazing. And yeah, I'm definitely going to be wearing this to go see Barbie.